There's an original plaque that sits in the Union that was dedicated uh, for the first time in 1958 um, with the names of individuals connected to Fort Hayes who lost their lives during the two world wars and the Korean conflict. Um, Well, this year is an opportunity for, it's, it's a sort of a anniversary year of the dedication of that plaque. I'm Christina Janney with the Hayes Post and Eagle Radio. I'm speaking with Carolyn Tatro of the FHSU Alumni Association to discuss events honoring veterans for Veterans Day on this episode of the Post Podcast. We have a lot of service members on campus. We have a lot of service members um, as students and uh, in our alumni community. So there's a lot happening um, in the Memorial Union, specifically the the skywalk between the Union and the new officially, newer Fishley Wills Student Success Center. This is something that they do every year, um, the, the military uh, services office. They help put on sort of a historical you know, skywalk, as you will, on in that bridge between those two buildings, um, posters displaying the connection of Fort Hayes and the military uh, and, and a flag display of all of the branches of the mil- military as well. And it is very cool to see because it is, you know, we are called Fort Hayes State University, but I think it's not always at the, the front of our minds what our connection to the military is. And so it is very cool to see that display happen. And that will be through the weekend. So that's on display now. It's been all, all week, um, but also through the weekend. So people have a chance to come see it whenever they're around campus. We also have um, today is another day. Uh, yesterday they did this as well. But anybody who wants to stop by the Memorial Union and honor somebody that they know, whether it's a friend, a family member, a colleague um, who served in the military, they have the opportunity to honor them by putting their name on a star. That star will be compiled with all the other stars that they put together over the last couple of days, and they'll be on display at the football game this weekend. So I think that's just a very cool tribute to them, a very personal tribute to our military families. Um, and then today there is an open forum to ask questions of uh, military service members Um there's some pretty high-ranking officials that will be there uh, this afternoon, and so that will be in rare call at 2 o'clock, an opportunity to hear about military experience and training. There's also going to be an important rededication of the Memorial Union in the honor of two uh, fallen service members that had connections to Fort Hayes State. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yes, I would be glad to. So the union was originally, uh, the the idea of the union, you know, as the, hub of the community center of campus, you know, where all the students gather and lots of activities in the union. And it was dedicated in 1958 to, there's an original plaque that sits in the union that was dedicated uh, for the first time in 1958 um, with the names of individuals connected to Fort Hayes who lost their lives during the two world wars and the Korean conflict. Um, Well, this year, is an opportunity for it's it's a sort of a anniversary year of the dedication of that plaque so tomorrow will be an opportunity to unfortunately we do have two names to add to that list um but it will be sort of a very uh, almost sobering moment for for um, our service members who are going to be in attendance but we will be honoring army chief warrant officer david carter and Army Chief Warrant Officer Bryant Nichols, both of whom passed away. Uh, They were killed in Afghanistan in August of 2011, so their names will be added to the display over in the Union. Um, uh, Let's see. David Carter was, he he, uh, actually earned his bachelor's degree from Fort Hayes State University, um, and he came to Colorado from the can. he went to Colorado from the Kansas Army National Guard um, after he earned his degree from Fort Hayes State. And then Brian Nichols is actually a graduate of TMP down the street here uh, in Hayes, and he enlisted in the Army in 1996. And so we will be honoring both of them. Their names will be on the plaque, and there will also be a brand-new touchscreen display that will allow the public um, who entered the Union to interact with the histories of any of the individuals honored in the Union uh, and, and see some of the history of Fort Hayes State in the military. Well, that's a wonderful dedication. There's also going to be uh, some honoring of veterans Saturday at the football game. Absolutely. There's a lot of activities happening. 
Um, veterans and service members will be recognized. I know the National Guard will have their cannon out there. That's something that they do at this game every year. Um, so there, and again, we'll have that flag on display um, with the names of those that people had come to the union, uh, into the Memorial Union to write down over the course of the week. So uh, just a lot of really great tributes to our service members, both of, you know, both current and previous ties to the university, um, but always want to be respectful of of them and, and the service that they dedicated um, to their communities and to their country. Also, the Heart of America Patriot Foundation has an I Fed the Tiger campaign. Tell us a little bit about that. Yes. So this campaign is something that uh, we open up. The I Fed the Tiger campaign is an opportunity for student organizations, departments, um, student groups on campus to uh, request funding for different projects that they are taking on during the year. And one of the projects that we are featuring this year is the Heart of America Patriot Foundation. It's a partnership with this organization to raise awareness and support of dependents of disabled or deceased veterans. So anybody sort of who falls into those categories. Um, This will provide financial assistance to those dependents as they pursue their college degree. Um, And the Heart of America Patriot Foundation will actually match dollar for dollar uh, every every contribution through the I Fed the Tiger campaign all the way up through December 31st. So a great opportunity to raise some money, financial assistance for military connected families as they uh, attend Fort Hayes State. That's a really important program. Of course, you know, uh, on a daily basis, the uh, university does a lot just to facilitate education for veterans and work with veterans. Carolyn, can you tell us a little bit about what those connections are? Yes. So our military uh, connected student services offers a lot of different ways for students and families, um, whether they are currently serving in the military, maybe they're transitioning out of the military, out of active duty, um, or, you know, anything in between. So, you know, for those who have gone through military training, they we have a way to sort of help them come through the process of what's called credit uh transferring college credits, so credit articulation. So any military training that they've done, um, they might be able to bring in uh, those skill, the skill building will kind of go towards their college credit. Uh, We also offer a free transcript evaluation. So whether they've taken college credits before, you know, at a different university, um, we do have some very strong ties to community colleges, um, specifically here in Kansas, but we do have some connections uh, around the country as well. And so anybody who's taken classes through any of those schools um, can bring their transcripts in and we'll kind of help decide, okay, this is what they, this is what they've done already. And this is sort of what will get them to the finish line of finishing whatever it is they're trying to finish their degree, their certificate, things like that. Um, We also have some, we, like I, you know, I've mentioned the Heart of America Patriot Foundation already, but um, there is a very strong financial assistance uh, service in our at the, at the university as well, um, because it is a little bit difficult for you know military families to to kind of navigate the the finances of college, um, and so you know we have we have people in the student in the financial aid office specifically w- who will work with our military families to kind of get them transitioned through that. And then the Kansas Board of Regents has several resources uh, just in general to make the transition, the personal transition from whatever, you know, if it was a, a life of service that they're, they're coming from or, um, you know, families, dependents of military uh, service members to kind of help make that personal transition to college. So there's a lot of different resources there. And there's resources through career services as, as those students transfer out into the work world after military, after some more college experience to find positions once they graduate or get whatever certificate they they have earned. That's correct. And if you go to the career services page on the Fort Hayes State website, there are a lot of different resources listed, different websites that they'll take you to. Um, And it is anything from whether somebody is looking for a job in the in the federal government, whether they're looking for a service related job or they're just trying to make the transition out into the civilian world. Um, it is a wide variety of resources. The page itself is almost overwhelming to look at, but I think that's a good thing because that means that there's nothing short of 
everything that they need to, to kind of help get them into that career once they're finished with their degree. You know, sometimes it's as simple as looking at a resume and saying, well, you really need to highlight this experience you had in, in the military. This is a really good transferable skill. You know, bring this to your a future employer. Absolutely. And it is a little bit different, I would say, for service members because their experience is different than than, you know, from what you and I would put on a resume. So, you know, that kind of um, that kind of assistance where, you know, our career services team can help look at what should be on a resume is very important because it could be the difference between getting a job and not getting a job. Yeah. Uh, well, this Carolyn, do you have anything else you want to add uh, about all these great events that we have going on in the next few days? You know, I think it is just a great opportunity. We were, but you know, before... Uh, we were on air. We were talking about other things that were happening um, in different places around our community. And uh, it is just really enlightening. It's very uh, and humbling to see all the different things that we do here in this community to honor our veterans and honor our service members. So I just encourage anybody to, you know, find find a find an event to attend and they can come to the rededication of the union tomorrow and hear from a couple of individuals. Um, but it is just a great a great way for us to showcase how proud we are of the service members that we have, you know, embraced in this community or any of those who have roots in this community. And we just appreciate everything that they have done. So it's just very, it's, it's very cool to see this time of year, some of the things that we, that we get to do.